We all know Elon Musk, he loves to do what he is best at, thinking crazy stuff and getting that into the real world. Now he has finally revealed the Tesla bot. This guy is just a crazy genius. Want to know more? Welcome back to the future space techno lovers. We will share all the information we got, so go anywhere just yet. Stay connected. Let's dig into a bit of history first. Tesla has revealed it intends to manufacture a humanoid robot that will be known as TeslaBot. This robot will have the ability to help you with mundane activities such as picking up groceries and doing other errands. No, it's not a joke. At its AI day, Tesla revealed a lot of information on the company's development in developing artificial intelligence technology to power its self-driving system. However, just as we had anticipated, there was a one more thing moment and it included robots. Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla, has revealed that the company intends to construct a humanoid robot that would be known as TeslaBot. Musk asserted that Tesla was already the most advanced robotics firm in the world due to the capacity of its cars to see, comprehend, and respond to the environment in which they find themselves. The chief executive officer of Tesla thinks that it makes perfect sense for the firm to make use of their breakthroughs in computer vision. But rather than deploying these advancements in a robot with four wheels, the company will do it in a humanoid robot. Musk has stated that the repetitive and monotonous activities that TeslaBot is designed to complete would be its primary focus. It is going to share a lot of the technology that is already available in Tesla vehicles, including the FSD computer that is going to get data from a very comparable suite of sensors. Additionally, it is going to share a lot of the design that is currently seen in Tesla vehicles. By employing a comparable set of AI technology, Tesla will be able to capitalize on the research and development that it is already conducting to complete the process of producing a fully autonomous vehicle. The humanoid format is likely to be Tesla's primary new area of focus in terms of technology and the company has only disclosed a little information about it so far. In this regard, we have previously reported that renowned roboticist Dennis Hong, who focuses his research and development efforts on humanoid robots, has been working closely with Tesla. Musk did not go into many specifics on the overall capabilities of the Tesla bot and exactly what duties it would be able to accomplish. However, he did imply that the ultimate objective is for the robot to someday be able to replace the majority of hazardous, repetitive, and uninteresting tasks. He made a specific reference to the act of dispatching the Tesla bot to the supermarket to pick up your groceries as an illustration. However, the CEO of the company stated that they are developing the robot because they are already developing practically all of the technology required to develop it. And if Tesla doesn't do it, someone else will, and they want to develop it securely. Musk reaffirmed his support for universal income, which would be necessary if the Tesla bot were to have the impact that Musk is anticipating. The long-term objective is to replace most human work, and Musk expressed his support for the idea. The chief executive officer of the corporation has stated that sometime next year is the target date for the completion of the prototype. Electric's Point of View As I type this, I get a distinct impression that I am being played a joke, and Elon certainly didn't help matters when he brought out a dancer dressed as a robot to perform on stage before revealing the Tesla bot. On the other hand, it does make sense in the end. A significant amount of the technology that Tesla is developing for its automobiles applies to the creation of a humanoid general-purpose robot. Nevertheless, it appears to be a highly forward-thinking strategy that is still in the very beginning stages of the growth. I have a strong suspicion that the majority of Tesla owners who have already purchased the full self-driving package want Tesla to place its primary emphasis on the delivery of that feature. That's a valid point, but there is undeniably a significant amount of complementary potential between the two initiatives. I believe that ultimately, the world will be a more fascinating place as a result of the TeslaBot project being part of it, but I do not anticipate that this will be available for purchase for quite a few years. The TeslaBot is the newest enterprise launched by Elon that promises a brighter future, yet deeper scrutiny reveals that there is a lot to be concerned about this product. Elon Musk finally got the opportunity to showcase his company's most recent creation to the rest of the world during an event called Tesla's AI Day. One of the primary topics of the event was the Tesla bot. The remarkable humanoid robot undoubtedly garnered its share of fans, even though the possible repercussions of its very existence are visible to anybody who cares to look. The Tesla bot is around 173 centimeters in height and was constructed using a significant portion of the same technology that Tesla used for its self-driving automobiles. This means that it should have no problem locating obstacles to run into. In all seriousness, it has been programmed to carry out tasks that are risky, monotonous, and dull, such as delivering groceries and checking for monsters beneath the bed. 
Elon Musk was also rather eager to explain that the Tesla bot will not be a danger to humans. He explained this by pointing out that it has a max speed of 8 kilometers per hour and a carrying capacity of approximately 20 kilograms. This means that it will not be able to move at a speed that could endanger people. Therefore, the fairly wimpy robot won't be an intimidating figure at all. However, although it is highly improbable that the Tesla bot will launch a frontal assault against humans, the repercussions of its presence might very well be catastrophic for a good many of us. Musk, in his typically pretentious manner, characterized the economy as labor, before wondering what happens when it is no longer a finite resource. This is a classic example of Musk's style. When initially considered, the concept of having an army of robots perform the most menial duties in the world may sound enticing. However, as one realizes that these menial activities are necessary for many of us to earn enough money to exist, the appeal of this concept begins to wane. Governments may implement a universal wage system as a partial response to this challenge, but this would have to take place before the arrival of the Tesla bot in a ready-to-work state. It is crucial that large corporations in the service and industrial industries, which will undoubtedly be the first to buy such items, stop hoarding their earnings and begin paying a higher percentage of their revenue in taxes. If those things were to take place, then the Tesla bot could be able to contribute to the creation of a more utopian future. But until that time comes, the fact that it is available on the market is more likely to result in conflict between social classes and widespread unemployment. Even if those issues are resolved, one still has to examine the viability of employing enormous quantities of limited resources to replace a workforce that can't precisely be dismantled – humans. This is because humans can't exactly be decommissioned. According to Elon Musk, Tesla is on schedule to create a functional prototype humanoid robot, Tesla Optimus, by the end of September. Musk promised Tesla AI Day No. 2 with many amazing enhancements on August 19 last month. The first Tesla AI Day, which took place last year, was centered on the company's self-driving initiative. In addition, the company showcased the Dojo supercomputer and announced plans for the Tesla bot humanoid robot, now known as Tesla Optimus. The second AI Day was meant to take place a year to the day after the first, but Musk said on Twitter earlier this month that it would be moved to September 30. The reason for the delay, according to the CEO, is that Tesla may have a functional prototype of Optimus by then. Musk stated in the Qatar Economic Forum that Tesla is on schedule to have a functional prototype of its humanoid robot. So I'm hoping we'll have an intriguing prototype to show folks. At Tesla, we have a skilled team with whom I am collaborating closely to get a prototype humanoid robot ready by the end of September, and I believe we are on the right route. The CEO also hinted at upcoming events that will position Tesla as more than just a car maker and more as a real-world AI company. There will also be a few more fascinating topics discussed at Tesla AI Day. We have these AI Day events to underscore that Tesla is much more than a vehicle company and that we are, in my opinion, the leading real-world AI firm in the world. Tesla is anticipated to provide updates on its Dojo supercomputer, which trains neural nets, as well as a more general update on its self-driving project, which is Tesla's first real-world deployment of AI. During the interview, Musk reiterated his proposal for a government body to monitor and regulate AI development to help steer the technology toward the public benefit. Now it's time to wrap up. We hope you enjoyed the video. Please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more updates like this. See you in the next video.